Things you should know about car batteries. Autodog tips. Rules for battery installation and removal. The battery has two terminals, positive and negative. The negative one is connected to the car body or engine block. The positive one directs electrical current to the power consumers, the starter, headlights, multimedia system and other devices. When removing the battery, disconnect the negative terminal first. If you remove the positive terminal first, you may hit a battery fastener or any other metal part of the assembly, causing a short circuit. There will still be an electrical charge present in the system for some time after disconnecting the positive terminal, meaning that contact between the terminal and metal parts will also cause a short circuit. When installing a battery, you should connect the positive terminal first. Please note, when working on the battery, make sure to insulate the positive terminal to prevent a short circuit in the vehicle's electrical system. How to check a battery's condition. The main specifications of each battery are voltage, measured in volts, V, and capacity, expressed in ampere hours, AH. The more a battery is used, the more it loses its capacity. Despite having sufficient voltage when there is no load, the battery may quickly lose capacity when a power consumer is switched on. The easiest and most affordable way to check the state of charge of an old battery is with a voltmeter or multimeter. Measurements are taken both when it's disconnected and under load. Disconnect the terminals and set the multimeter to constant voltage measurement mode at 20 volts. Touch the positive battery terminal with the red probe and the negative battery terminal with the black probe. The voltage of a good battery should not be lower than 12 volts. Connect the battery terminals in the correct order. Make sure the engine is switched off as well as any other power consumers. Measure the voltage, observing the polarity of the probes. A voltage of 11.7 volts means that the battery is almost completely discharged. 12.1 to 12.4 volts, half discharged. 12.5 to 13.2, charged. Start the engine with all power consumers switched off. A voltage of less than 13.4 volts means that the battery is not fully charged. This can be caused by a malfunctioning alternator or oxidized battery contacts. 13.5 to 14.2 volts, normal operating voltage. Above 14.2 volts, excessive voltage, indicating that the battery is discharged. This often happens when the vehicle remains idle for a long period of time, especially in winter. With a special device called a battery load tester, you can get more precise information about the capacity of your battery. It consists of a voltmeter, a high resistance load in the form of a resistor or a refractory metal strip, and two wires with terminals for connecting the device to a battery. How to prevent a battery from discharging. Don't leave any lights on longer than necessary. Don't leave the multimedia system on for too long when the engine is switched off. Unplug electrical devices such as chargers and gadgets from the cigarette lighter socket when they aren't in use. If you use your car mostly for frequent short journeys, charge the battery at least once a month using a special charger. Auto Dock App. All car parts at the lowest prices on your phone. Try it for yourself. Inspect your battery every six months, clean oxidized contacts, and lubricate the terminals with a special grease. Disconnect the negative terminal when your car is parked for a long period of time. Avoid deep discharging as this shortens the service life of the lead plates. Tip. 
a car with a dead battery can be started using another vehicle. To do this, connect the red jump lead to the positive terminals of the batteries of both cars. Next, connect one end of the black lead to the negative terminal of the donor vehicle and the other end to the negative terminal of the car with the discharge battery. All power consumers must be switched off on both vehicles. Before starting a vehicle with the discharge battery, the engine of the donor vehicle must be switched off. Start the engine and disconnect the jump leads.